Hey guys, it has been nearly a month since I last uploaded a video. And if you start counting from the days when I was uploading on more consistent basis, it has been a really, really long time. <sighs> it's really nice to be back on YouTube finally. I don't know how many of you guys still remember me, but together with my wife, I have been uploading my travel journey from Japan and traveling in Japan and also South Korea and even some uh, European countries in the past. I have also introduced many useful goods from Japan as well as travel tips. Before getting started, make sure to hit the like button so I can feel better about myself uploading, finally uploading a video on YouTube. So I'm not in Hawaii or Japan, so where have I been? Well, let me start off by saying that when we first moved to Japan in 2016, we had no intentions of staying there for more than a few years. After a few years, I moved back to Hawaii where I grew up from. In the meantime, Minju wanted to stay in Japan for a little longer, so she worked there for a little while. So we had to be on a long distance relationship for a, you know, a little while. That was tough, but I'm glad it's over. Now that Minju moved back to the United States, uh, together we decided to relocate back to LA where we met basically and we where we used to live in the past of course us constantly moving from one country to the other or one state to the other was very time consuming and tiring and i decided to take that time to step out of youtube for a little bit oh i forgot to introduce our new family member as well I have to apologize to you guys for lack of communication on my part but the reason I wasn't uploading on YouTube was not just because I was tired and I did not have time. While I did still enjoy uploading on YouTube, uh, during the few years I struggled to find a sustainable solution for me to keep going uh, financially uploading videos on YouTube. YouTube is very time consuming and also it's very expensive. You gotta travel or you gotta buy stuff, transportation costs and all that really adds up. I think I especially struggle the most compared to maybe other people because I started off YouTube knowing nothing about filmmaking, videography, photography, any of these stuff. Like I wasn't really in the creative field at all. So it was a lot of learning to do. While I appreciated every single one of you who supported my channel, it was becoming very very tough mentally keeping myself uplifted without seeing the results that you were hoping for for a long period of time. So basically, I felt a little burnt out after a few years. Since I wanted to add some value and give it insights, that brings me to a next interesting question of why I think some people fail at YouTube. I think YouTube is very unique in its characteristics, similar to doing some type of startup where the return is not guaranteed and everything is uncertain whether you can see the results or not. This is very different from let's say compared to you going to school or going to work. In school, the amount of time you spend studying typically reflects on how well you do in school. In another scenario, if you're going to work, typically if you work more, you'll be getting paid more unless, unless of course, if you're working for some company that doesn't pay you at all. So my point is there's typically a positive correlation between the amount of effort you put into something and the immediate results. Even before starting a YouTube channel, I knew this was going to be the case, but I thought I would be ready for the challenge because I've seen a lot of success in the past in my life where I put in a lot of work, which eventually correlates to the final results I get. 
What I did not know was how much of a mental toll it can take on you if this continues on for long periods of time. In the end, I was not ready to see the results so disproportional to the amount of time I spent and the amount of effort I put into the work. I lacked the vision to see the long term. So I realized there was a disconnect in fundamental understanding of everyday schooling or working to YouTubing. Now the results that I was hoping to see was being able to connect with many people that you would otherwise would not be able to do in your entire lifetime and sharing my journey and information and creating a community of people who share the same interests. How wonderful would that be? I think that's where a lot of people come from when they're starting a YouTube channel initially. When you don't see the results, soon you start getting distracted and you start comparing yourself to other people, other YouTubers who are more successful than you are. It is so easy to get distracted and discouraged. Now. The reality is, although this number is very, very generous, I would say only 10% of the people who start their YouTube channel and put effort into it will succeed on the platform. I think it's very common to see things like this in life where only 10% of the people succeed and the rest of the majority of people, 90% of you fail. And I think where the failure comes from is you give up. But you can get discouraged from being part of 90% because even those people who are successful now in the top 10% have been a part of the majority of 90% group. But the ratio of 9 to 1 really shouldn't be a thing to be get discouraged from because if you continue to challenge yourself and you continue to fail and be part of 90%, every time when you put yourself out there, take new challenges, your next successful rate could be let's say 11% and then next one could be even 12%. So you continue to fail and continue to build skill sets, increase the success rate. So the 9 to 1 ratio is only true if you're brand new. Even things that you feel are unrelated, somehow you can connect the dots and then make it a bigger thing in the end if you keep trying and if you're willing to climb the ladder very slowly. So comparing yourself right off the bat when you start to the successful group who are in the top 10% is ridiculous. I think this universally applies to many other challenging things in life. As I said earlier, I neither had the patience or the vision of long term which ended up making me discouraged and feel burnout making videos on YouTube. And the next question comes one now. Will the channel be dying if it's not dead yet? Well, now I step out of YouTube and then analyze myself what the mistakes were. I am ready to come back to YouTube. This time with more and better quality contents. Going forward, my goal is to upload one video a week. And the type of contents I'll be uploading will be travel guide videos vlogs giving you insights on traveling and introducing some of the great products that I think you guys will love. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree with what I said. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in a week. In a week. Bye.